Starting with version 14, Oxygen has introduced a new add-on deployment support that will allow plugins and frameworks to be automatically discovered and installed from a remote location. In the first part of this demonstration, we'll show you how you can use this feature from a user's point of view, while the second part of the demonstration focuses on the developer's perspective. Oxygen supports two types of add-ons. Framework, which is a collection of files, CSS style sheets, XML schemas, transformation scenarios and specific actions, just to name a few, that provide custom functionality for a specific type of document. And plugin, which is a software component designed to add extended functionality by using a series of extension points provided by Oxygen. For our demonstration, we have already packed a couple of add-ons and deployed them on a remote HTTP server. All the information about an add-on is kept in an XML descriptor file known as an update site. First, we need to point Oxygen to the location of this file to be able to find information about add-ons published at that location. Go to Add-ons Preferences page and add the location of the update site. The update site will be read and the detected add-ons are displayed. By default, Oxygen displays only the latest versions of the add-ons that are compatible with the currently running Oxygen version. If we uncheck the two filter options, Oxygen displays all add-ons discovered on the remote update site. For each add-on, you can see its status, version, Oxygen version compatibility and add-on type. Incompatible add-ons are grayed out. If you select an add-on from the list, you can see its description in the lower part of the dialog box. Now we'll install version 2 of the simple documentation framework and the conversion plugin. It is highly recommended to read the add-ons and user license agreement before installing anything. Also, the add-on signature, when available, enforces the integrity of the add-ons publisher. To move on, we must accept the add-ons and user license agreements. An application restart is required to complete the installation process. Now, going back to the Manage Add-ons dialog box, let's switch to the Manage tab to see the status of the installed add-ons. We see that the two add-ons are now installed. Here, we can either update add-ons to their latest versions or uninstall those no longer needed. What you've seen until now was the support offered by Oxygen to you as a user. If you are a developer, probably you wonder how you can deploy a framework or plugin through the add-on support. An add-on consists of two components, the plugin or framework packed as a zip archive and an XML descriptor file which provides information about the add-on. This file, together with the archive plugin, are then copied to an HTTP server. To deploy an add-on, you need to follow these steps. Archive all framework or plugin resources. Digitally sign the archive. Create the add-on descriptor file. And move the archive and the descriptor file on the web server. Since steps 1, 2 and 4 depend on your development environment, we are only focusing on creating the add-on descriptor file. Oxygen provides a template of the descriptor file. For each add-on you publish, you need to have an extension element that contains information about the add-on. A unique ID that will allow Oxygen to look for updated versions of the add-on, location of the archived plugin or framework, add-on version, compatible Oxygen version, add-on type. Here I'm using the Oxygen Content Completion Assistant, which provides me two choices. Developer's name, add-on's name, add-on's description, and the license agreement that enforces the add-on usage. 
Here you can use HTML elements to add styling to the description content. If you want to publish another version of the plugin, or perhaps a new plugin or framework, you need to create a new extension element. In our example, we duplicate the element we previously created. Since it describes an update of the first plugin, we only modify the location, version, and description elements. Now that we've created a descriptor file and packed the plugin into an archive, we can copy them both on the server. You've already seen in the first part of the demonstration how you can set up Oxygen to discover add-ons published at a certain HTTP location. For additional information about this topic and more video demonstrations, make sure you visit the Oxygen XML video tutorials page. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.